When working on subtraction, children will begin using real-life objects before moving on to using a number line and partitioning. When using the formal column method of subtraction, children need to hold a digit's place value mentally, be able to exchange tens for ones and hundreds for tens, and also partition numbers mentally. In this example, we are calculating 252 subtract 129. Begin by setting out your calculation correctly. 252 and write the second number underneath, ensuring your hundreds, tens and ones are all lined up correctly. Next, draw your two lines and write on the left hand side the subtraction sign. We begin by subtracting the ones. Two take away nine. In our column method example, we cannot do two take away nine. So we're gonna to have to exchange a 10. Our 50 becomes 40 and our two becomes 12 as we take a 10 over from our tens column. 12 take away nine is three. Next we move on to our tens column. 40 take away 20 is 20. And the hundreds, 200 take away 100 leaves you with 100. 123. This method can also be used to subtract larger numbers and decimals. You just need to ensure that the place value is correct and each digit is lined up correctly. Mm -hmm.